what I'm showing you is truth. So the Lord believe that when you ask, you already receive it and strengthen your walk of faith. When my time comes, you will see the fulfillment of my word, said the Lord. Um, doors, one door after another will open for you when things look impossible for you. Grasp my word firmly, and when a door is before you, which is impossible to be opened for you, uh, step forward by faith and go in, said the Lord. I'm the Almighty God, and there is no impossibility for me. But you have a wall of impossible in your mind, but take it out and just receive my word and receive the Almighty power of mine, said the Lord. The work of God that is founded in this, in this church will progress in a mighty way, and you will, uh, and I will open doors for you to be involved in many kinds of social work uh, in, in the society. No, that there is a, no, no big wall in my, in my eye. Just walk by faith, and when you obey me, the glory of mine you will be revealed in a great way. Don't limit my work by your unbelief. What I'm showing you, I will fulfill it by, by, by my power, says the Lord. Even when it's good or when it's not good, preach the gospel because the time is full now. And I will show you and give you various ways of preaching the gospel. Don't miss the chance. The I, don't, I don't tell you that I'm going to build one children's care center in Japan. I will be telling you that I will um, build up many, many children's care centers in Japan. When my time comes, you will see the work of God fulfilled. And I've told you through past that uh, a million people will be saved through each one of you. When the time comes, you will see that fulfillment also. I have given you a calling for the work of a children's care center in Japan and outside Japan in foreign countries. Uh, I will cause you to build up children's care centers, and I will also cause you to establish churches where, when it, wherever the children's care center is established, because the church will cover the orphans in the world. Please be seated. We now have Holy Communion. Holy Communion is to proclaim the death of Jesus. In our church, you are welcome to join this ceremony. If you, if, even though you are not a member of this church, 
if you have been baptized <coughs> or you are wishing to be baptized, you can join the ceremony. And if you are watching the service on the internet, and if you have been baptized in any church or you are wishing to be baptized, you are welcome to join the ceremony. And please prepare bread and wine or grape juice for yourselves. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, bless this bread and wine and grape juice here and bless bread and wine and grape juice that those who are watching this service on the internet have prepared. Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please pray individually and if you have sins in your hearts, please confess them to God. We pray these Amen. prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Let's take the body of Christ. Jesus said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Let's take the blood of Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you for this blessing of Holy Communion in the name of Jesus. 
we pray. And then uh, we will uh, we will have a time of offerings later. Yeah. Let's open the Bible. Mark chapter 11 from verse 22. Let me read. How faith in God, Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for gathering us together here. I pray for you to lead us in this time. In your abundant blessing, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. At 8 o'clock, Pastor Arai will give us a seminar about seminar of Snergo. And before that, let me speak to you from this passage. This week, well, uh, last week I went to Tohoku area. It was a good timing because when I went to Hirosaki, the cherry blossoms were in full bloom. They had a very beautiful. They have a very beautiful cherry trees at the castle. In one in one place there, the cherry blossoms were full, in full bloom, and in some other areas they were almost in full bloom. I had heard that cherry blossoms in Hirosaki were beautiful, and I, find, I found it really beautiful. And next, when I went to Fukushima, uh, the peach, the peach flowers were in full bloom. I really like peach flowers too, as well as cherry blossoms. And I had wished that I, I had always wished that I would be able to walk among, walk in a way of peach trees with food, with flowers in full bloom. Uh, I, I think you also tried to obey the Lord, abandoning what you desire. But um, uh, when, we obey, when I obey the Lord, I, the Lord let me to and let me to and gave me what I had wanted. So listen to God's voice and obey it. If you want to make your life interesting, please listen to God's voice and obey it. If you want to lead a worthwhile, worthwhile writing life, listen to God's voice and obey it. If you want to have a thrilling life, listen to God's voice and obey it. If you don't want to be sleepy in your life, please listen to God's voice and obey it. And in, they, had a, they have a meeting place of Hirosaki Church about 100 meters away from the cherry trees. And now Pastor Kafuku is the pastor of the church and he told us interesting things that um, once before, uh, her husband had a great, had a lot of debt, and they were in difficulties. So Pastor Kafuku uh, went, went to ask help for, went to uh, uh, an office of an attorney uh, for help, and then 
at that time they, ha they were in despair. But when they started, and they met later, they, when they rented an office for the meeting place of the church, Pastor Kafuku was surprised because it was just, it, it used to be the same office of that attorney he had, she had asked for help because of the death of her husband. So in the same place, they are now worshiping, having a worship, they have a worship service every Sunday. And in Fukushima, in a meeting in Fukushima, there were a, a few Korean um, people living in Japan who came to this meeting in Fukuoka. And the reason why they came to that meeting is because they had read this uh, monthly magazine of the appearance of a rainbow in the clouds. And they were moved to read this and came to the meeting. And through this magazine, they told me that they learned a teaching of giving thanks to God for everything. They God touched them uh, about, they touched them through this magazine. You know um, a teaching of giving thanks to God for everything. Uh, ev every pastor in our churches, they give messages about giving thanks to God for everything. And it, you know, it, you take it natural now, but um, those Korean Christians living in Japan, they hadn't learned much about it, and so they were moved to hear this in this magazine and came to the meeting. Uh, in our church in Czech Republic, one Czech brother, he is a white person, Czech. Uh, he uh, enjoys every blog of a church, of a church, and he testified that his life was changed uh, by the work of this internet. And I thought, I wondered what he said was true, but his pastor testified that uh, he had been really changed through the blogs of a church. And what changed him was a blog of a team, the team to Australia. And during this team, I, I ate a candy and a stuffing in my tooth fell off because of the candy. And I was I I was shocked. Do you how do can you imagine how I felt when a stuffing in my tooth fell off in a foreign country? And this had happened before in Poland. And at that time, I went to a dentist in Poland. And well, I also in the United States, when I ate jelly beans, also again, stuffing in my tooth fell off. Well, this, when, when this happened in Australia, uh, I gave thanks to God for this. Although I, I thought that how it could work out good for me. But anyway, I thanked God for this. And we posted a picture and this comment in, in the blog about this team. And this Czech brother uh, read this comment and looked at this blog, and he was touched by God. And he, his eyes were opened that we should give thanks to God for every detail. And that changed his life. 
And we have a, we also have a, our own church in Prague, Czech. And, and um, sushi restaurant run by a Korean Christian. He uh, provided us uh, with a meeting place. He let us rent his restaurant for our meeting. And to this meeting, one Japanese Christian lady was supposed to come, but he, because he, she got sick, she couldn't come, but instead her non-Christian husband came. And when he got home from the meeting, uh, the wife w was very surprised because her husband came home rejoicing and singing, singing, rejoice, rejoice, and God uh, touched him in the meeting with the praise song. And also, a uh, Japanese cook who works for this sushi restaurant, because he is there when he was there when we had a meeting in that restaurant, uh, he was touched by God and he he decided that he would come to our church in Prague on the next Sunday with his family. And what he was moved by, moved with, was uh, teaching of giving thanks to God for everything. So this teaching of giving thanks to God for everything, this is a special blessing. So taste this teaching, bite it, and bite and bite it, and taste it. God's uh, teaching is wonderful. Uh, since the time we find that this teaching is wonderful, that's the start, and we will go on tasting it more and more, and it will be deep, get deep more and more, this teaching of giving thanks. This will go on eternity when we live in the eternal world. Uh, how much um, blessing we will, we will see through this teaching. Pastor Merlin went to heaven. And of course, I know that uh, millions of people know th this meeting. They learned it from Pastor Merlin, and we are among them. And we, and it's important for us to succeed this teaching and spread it. And also, uh, in Tohoku meetings, somebody asked me about Holy Communion. There are two theories about Holy Communion. One is uh, just a symbol, and the other is Holy Communion is substantial. Uh, people who think Holy Communion is symbol, they use bread and grape juice because it's symbol they believe that it's just symbol for example uh, do, do you know a Japanese famous novel uh, called you are like uh, Japanese um, you are like uh, grass and uh, it's a symbol. Uh, this uh, character in this novel, he takes a, a, a woman as grass and um, so, in the symbol in the symbols theory holy communion they think bread is just symbol of the body of Christ and grape juice is the symbol of Christ's blood but um, other, other, the other theory is uh, holy communion is substantial so and we we stand 
on this. We believe it. So that's why we, we use um, uh, we use bread without yeast and uh, wine. We believe that this bread without yeast is it's really the body of Christ and, and wine is the blood of Jesus. This is what we believe and this is the theory, our theory of Holy Communion. We use uh, bread without uh, yeast, and also we use uh, wine and or grape juice. So when you eat this or drink it, believe that they are sub, sub, they are real. They are they are substantial. The reason why we use bread without yeast and wine is because the Bible said that I have I have I have I have I, I, have, I stuck to stick to what the Bible says. Bread if you bread with the yeast if you believe it, that this is the body of Christ, that's okay. But if you want to be biblical, you, uh, we should uh, have bread without yeast. Maybe what is wonderful, what happened, what is wonderful about becoming a Christian is that we can receive special help from God. When you have difficulties, when, if you are pushed by problems, or if when you are sick, we know that God is God is God exists and God uh, extends a mighty help for us. Recently, I have had my faith changed. Uh, what's happening to me is like now. Now we live in this world, and when we pray, we uh, experience God's work. So in the world, these works of God are made manifest. This is what I used to believe. But recently, I have a different uh, belief. There is God's order and flow of God in, the, in this world, and the world itself is led by the order of God and the flow of God. I think I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be better and better in expre explaining it. So we receive God's special help and blessing. And, and we have these blessings with our prayers. I have experienced many things. Um, when, when God tells us something impossible, and he points points uh, that uh, you haven't prayed yet. And I prayed, but my prayer was not answered yet. Well, I, I, I had prayed to God more, more and many times than you. I prayed to God that God, please use me in a mighty way. I had much desire, more desire than others. I had fervently prayed that God would use me for more than 10 years. And I had a feeling, I had a feeling that God would answer that prayer of mine. 
そうだと言ってもね、神様の I understood what God said to me, saying, you cannot take up a cross. Well, I like to encourage you not to miss anything God wants to give you. So I didn't want to uh, miss God, what God wanted to give me, so I immediately prayed, then God, please give me strength. To take up the cross. Then I went on the ski camp and I had my feet, I had my leg fractured. And I was hospitalized. And because I had a fracture in my leg, I had to, um, in, the, in the hospital bed, I needed to have, a, I needed to have my leg in traction. And the way my leg was tracted was that they had a, they made a hole in my feet and they put an iron pole into my feet and uh, they bound me in the bed in this way, so I couldn't move. I, I know that you like to be, you like to sleep, but as for me, I, I want to move around. I, I want to walk. Well, I think you have a talent because you, you can fall asleep in every seven service on Sunday. But as for me, um, I, I need to walk around. I can't, I want to move. But in those days, in the hospital bed, uh, I was uh, bound in the bed. I was bound in the bed. And I couldn't move. And I, I became almost crazy because I couldn't move for two weeks. So I became almost crazy and I knew that I, I lost my mind and I, I could not help asking God for help. I asked God to help me. 
Then God told me what to do. He instructed me to make a list of things that I should do in a day, which I did. And then, even though I couldn't move at all in the bed, just because by following the list of things to do in, in the day, I enjoyed myself, and I, I, I thought that I would be able to uh, do this for another hundred days. And at that time, I knew that with God's help, nothing was impossible with, that, with, with us. Even though we don't have any strength, God helps us when we pray. This is the church of the Lord's Cross Christian said that you come to this church. So even though you are not aware of, you will be, you will be uh, caused to bear up a cross, take up a cross. But prayer is our strength. I think that you have taken up small crosses, but from now on, you will take up bigger crosses. Some of you might, might have a problem that you cannot pray, but don't worry because things will happen to cause you to have to pray. And prayer is uh, what we ask. To, of God, but in this passage it says, receive, uh, believe that you have received in Mark chapter 11. It says, it says that uh, you ask according to God's will, believe that you receive it and it will be yours. Uh, believe that you have it, you have received it, and it will be yours. And I was sick, God told me that He would heal me, and I received it, it and I believed that it was done. Uh, I received that God healed, healed me. You may be tired now, but I'm tired. I'm now giving you chances for you to uh, get messages of God. If it's God's will and if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. So exercise this, use this practically. Faith is a practical thing. Practical thing means that your problems will be solved practically or your sickness will be healed practically. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, please touch each one of us and show your glory. Um, some people, you are just encouraging yourselves. Just do hard, do hard. But God is telling you that you should, re you should believe. You, sh you should receive the point of what you God is telling you, you, uh, you don't have confidence in yourselves and you don't know where to go. But one, there is one reason. God already showed you one thing, but you didn't receive it. That's why you don't have confidence in yourselves. So go, so go back to what the Lord told you. Um, you, uh, you have negative thinking in many things, so you have a wall of unbelief. But you should speak uh, words, uh, words that the Lord, words according to God's will. Let's pray for healing. Uh, Heavenly Father, thank you that you are here. I pray for you to heal bodies and minds and souls of each one of us. I break the power of sickness. I command sicknesses uh, be gone, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed.
I command in the name of Jesus, I command the healing of Jesus Christ. Uh, you have a problem in your chin and you are healed. And you, uh, you are too nervous when you stand up in front of people, but God heals that for you. You have an atrophy, skin disease, and you are healed. I command in the name of Jesus, healing of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Pastor Rai will give you a seminar of Sumer Goy uh, from, at, from 8 o'clock. <laughs>